Hey guys, welcome back to my <coughs> channel. Anyways, sorry I said that. I was just trying to be petty. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing a video about how. how uh, today, I'm doing a video about how Carly Steele um, blocked me on Twitter because of um, a joke that I said. Let's just get right into the video. I have my phone right here. I have the receipts on Twitter. I made a different account just so I could like see like what she said to me because she blocked me on Twitter so I can't like see so I had to make another account and that's why I was liking her tweets because I was like trying to save them so I won't have to like scroll through it so the first thing I said I said I'm crying why she got your post notifications on okay this video this was a video she posted and look it's right at the top you see like she's screen recording just like how I am now and she like it's like the friend or the boyfriend, the guy. She's <laughs> and it literally shows Connor's post notifications. And I said, "I'm crying." Why she got your post notifications on as a joke? Obviously, because it's funny. Like that's your ex. <laughs> she said, "How is that funny? That was the love of my life, and he's still my best friend." So keep on with your sorry as comments, as if you don't keep up with your exes. Thanks. Next. Do you see how embarrassing that comment is? The fact that you keep up with your exes and is embarrassing, like that's sad. I said, it's just funny to me because I know most people wouldn't have their exes post notifications on Twitter. I don't know, but yeah. But I'm really not trying to start problems. I just thought it was funny to me. Sorry if you thought, what the heck? Oh, I'm gonna try on. I just thought it was funny to me. Sorry if you thought something else other than that. It's just also uh, that people saw it and it was weird to see, I don't know. LOL, sorry Carly. Okay. I'm not trying to like this part okay just hold on and I'm just saying not many people keep in touch with the exes like that it's just different to some people to see what to see that I'm just saying like please don't hate me I watch all your vids all the time Carly can you uh, Carly can you please reply because I did ask wasn't trying to be a bitch or anything I so love you and I will still continue watching your videos it was just my opinion I don't watch your videos anymore because that was fucked up that she block blocked me and I was like a supporter so like the fact that she just blocked me, blocked a supporter, like, wow. And I said, literally not saying anything wrong, sis. I love you. I watch your vids all the time, and I like all your pics. I think you are a queen. You're so pretty. But seriously, I'm not saying anything wrong. And someone commented that, and this one, this tweet, and was like, you were just calling her out trying to be funny and start shit, and she responds back, and you're playing victim. I mean, LMFAO. What are you talking about? I said, what are you talking about? Because I wasn't trying to play a victim. Like... I wasn't even being mean. When was I being mean? I said LMFAO. You have his post notifications on. Like, that's funny. Like, you have your ex's post notifications on. I'm not trying to play victim. Okay, but she didn't have to come at her like that. Who? And everyone who thinks she loves her and supports her, you are loves her, supporters, you are wrong. She is obsessed, but the other day she literally told Connor to choke me. Choke me, dad. Let me suck you. Says you're, you're so... What? I don't even know what I wrote. I was right. I was typing really fast. She's just embarrassing herself at this point. Oh, surprise! My bad. Okay, yeah, and that's all that happened. Whatever. And let me go to the other replies. It's just not the healthiest thing to do. Speaking from personal experience, I had to block and move on because I found myself waiting for his notifications. Then again, we don't know your guy's relationship at the moment. So, girl, do you and er forget everyone's opinion. Just don't get hurt again. Same, I did the same thing, turn on my ex's post notifications and I'm not telling her to do anything. That as I wasn't starting anything, which is crazy how people think I am, but I don't know. You obviously were trying to be rude about it. <laughs> how was I trying to be rude? All I said was LMFAO, like, laughing is rude at this point? Like, that's sad. You obviously were, people are so sensitive on Twitter, like, that's, oh my god. You obviously were trying to be rude about it, and if you didn't know that, then you need to learn how to word things better and <laughs> realize just because they're on YouTube doesn't mean they have don't have feelings think about what you type before you post and how I feel about it lol I also have feelings no I literally didn't do it wrong haha I can state my opinion the way I want I wasn't doing any anything wrong I wasn't being rude sis but go off lol now you're getting defensive learn when to take the L and move on I said no one's getting defensive um, defending yourself like just did is defensive bottom line you didn't think she was gonna reply Girl, you got your opinion. I got mine. Let's just call it a day. I didn't take any L's. Carly just snapped yes. How did she snap? Saying that she has her 
her ex-boyfriend's no post notifications on and she's in love with him still yeah i guess she snapped okay she did not at all amanda begum <laughs> i mean she literally didn't snap what it looks like is that she looks like a psycho ex-girlfriend to some people and especially that she's an influencer it's embarrassing why you gotta be petty about it <laughs> i think it's funny she was talking shit and saying that he was some horrible person now they're best friends she needs to let him go because they were poisoned for each other the definition of toxic why would you be best friends after what happened doesn't make any sense could not agree more tbh i love how people's attitudes change after the reply to i said my attitude my attitude didn't change at all but glosses how you how do you change an attitude over twitter like my attitude didn't change all i said like i was being honest like the thing when I was like, oh, I'm crying, like, haha, she has her, her ex's post notifications on, like, how is that being rude, and how am I switching attitude when I said, oh, I still love you, like, I wasn't trying to be mean. Why, why do, why do people, like, why are people, like, dumb, and, like, that's just sad. Um, th that was literally my first thought after reading 20 comments this girl sent back after the fact that Carly had seen the response. I'm not scared of Carly Steele, okay, she's, she's a little tiny, did you see her before she got her BBL? She was this small. I'm not scared of be. I'll go to Canada and be <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I won't. But, like, I, I'm broke. I can't go to Canada like that. <laughs> Anyways, someone is stressed. All the shit you talked about on behalf of his post notifications on. Oh, and someone said, and this is why you're never going to get over him. He won. Facts. Um, why Carly had to be so rude? Like, I'm sorry. After talking shit about Connor, no one expect you, ex ex uh, expect, expected you to be friends with him. So you didn't need to be the old... Wait. So you didn't need to rude the old carly was oh you didn't need to be rude the old carly was better thank you next sad thing is some of my future exes have me blocked on twitter <laughs> snatch her bald queen okay <laughs> you do you baby i still have my exes ex on post notifications ain't nothing wrong with that actually there's a lot of things wrong with that that's super toxic and you should just let the ex go there's a reason you guys broke up i mean i'm not saying that like I'm not saying you have to, but, like, it's just, like, what if they get another girlfriend or, like, boyfriend? Or, like, that's just super toxic, and you can't, I don't know. I would just, like, let things go, like, especially that you guys aren't together. And if it was, like, toxic situation, if it was just, like, oh, you guys just, like, broke up for, like, a second, you know? Tell her. Tell her what? I 100% with, agree with you and Carly. All she was doing was saying something that got told the wrong way. Everyone over here saying rude things to her. Come on, be positive and be nice and let's all move on and say i'm crying why she got his post notifications on is not being rude facts maybe she's just happy that they still have them on after everything they've been through actually no because i thought it was actually really funny there's nothing rude about being funny okay i blocked my ex on all his social medias i was abused by him in many different ways if i heard him or seen him or someone brings him up i got major anxiety i don't know how you do it girl Everyone's so different with what they choose to do with their exes, each to their own decision, I guess. Um, I'm trying to see more replies. LML XOXOGG, gear and attention seeking hoe. Get the f out of my Twitter. Anyways, I actually didn't see that tweet until yesterday because I was trying to find it and I was like, this girl called me an attention seeking hoe. And first of all, you don't know anything about me. I have been through a relationship where it was really toxic and I still like the person like deeply. So get your facts straight. I'm not saying you shouldn't. Be friends but i'm saying he didn't treat you didn't he treat you like utter <laughs> looking out for you love you how is i'm crying why does she have a uh have your post notifications on asking <laughs> you dumbest <laughs> and second she did not confront me but go off if you want dead ass but now i'm talking she blocked a supporter um did i read everything that thing, but basically that was everything um that was so stupid and carly Steele, if you are watching this video i was not trying to be rude I'm not trying to be rude now. I just thought it was really funny at the time that, you know, it it was caught on YouTube. And I don't know. I just thought it was funny that because I was like, wait, did I see that right? Like, it's just funny how it's caught like on YouTube. I was not expecting it. But yeah, like I said, I wasn't trying to be rude. I'm not saying that you can't have your ex's post notifications on. I've been through that. I've been through a toxic relationship where I still like the person, but it was so toxic. So at least I'm not trying to be rude. Um, please 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 dm me on twitter unblock me on twitter because i don't know you blocked a supporter i literally was a supporter you know that i was a supporter i liked all your videos but
now I can't even support you like how I used to because like you blocked me for over something that I thought was funny like I don't know it's just that's super childish of you like honestly but like I said I'm not trying to be rude that was just that was just really childish for you to do i i don't i don't even know what to say like you just i guess because you were in a toxic relationship you just want to defend him because you still liked him which i get that like like i said i've been through that but if carly Steele doesn't watch this video and people who know who carly Steele is please dm her or show her this video so she unblocks me on twitter at least or we like get like just that me and carly can be cool like i I don't want any hate with Carly. Like, I literally was, like, her supporter, and she blocked me over, like, a joke. It wasn't even a joke. It was just something I thought was funny, which I'm pretty sure tons of people thought it was funny, but she decided to block me because I tweeted about it and said it was funny. I bet she blocked a whole bunch of people for saying something like that. But, like I was saying, not trying to be rude. Send this to Carly, please, y'all. I hope I cleared the air, but I just thought this was a really good video idea because I just thought of it yesterday and was like, wait, Carly still, still has me blocked on Twitter. I should definitely do a video on this. And I'm pretty sure Carly isn't even talking to Connor, Connor anymore. I'm pretty sure they both have, she has a boyfriend, he has a girl, new girlfriend, I think, I don't know. But like I said, send this video to, Car uh, to Carly, please. Make sure she sees this. Show her my Instagram, my, my Instagram, Twitter, um, Snapchat and TikTok, they're all linked down below in the description box. Um, send her one of my social medias so she can, like, we can talk this out. It's just, I think it's so stupid that she blocked me, like, a supporter. Like, I literally supported her until she blocked me. Like, that was super, like, messed up. But, I don't know, I guess she was, like, really upset that, um, that I caught that and I got a lot of, not, not a lot of likes. I got, like, 160 likes, but I guess that I caught it on Twitter and she was afraid that he would see it, but... Still, like, there's nothing to be, like, embarrassed about. Like, like, I don't, I don't care. Like, you could have your ex post notifications on, but, like, you shouldn't, you know? If it's, like, toxic, like, how they were. Because I saw her old videos about, like, her, like, crying in the car. Like, uh, that's just, like, you shouldn't even be crying in the car, like, uh, by yourself when your boyfriend's, like, in your house. Like, that's not cool. But that, that shouldn't even, like, be how things work. Like, even if, like, their relationship was so toxic, that's why... I'm just clearing the air and that's probably why she blocked me because she didn't want him to see that tweet but I'm still not sure I keep saying this send this video to Carly or make sure she sees this if you see this Carly I'm very sorry about what I said I wasn't trying to be rude um, I just thought it was funny um, and I'm yeah I'm sorry if we talk this out I'm probably will still be a supporter but like I don't know it's just it's weird watching your videos now I like mess with you hard like until like you blocked me but if we talked this out I probably would still watch your videos and probably would still like just you know be cool with you again but anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed those videos I guess I feel like it was kind of short I don't know if I left anything let me check I guess there was nothing else to say I really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up turn on that post notification bell so you know every time I upload a brand new video also turn on that post wait I already I just said that <laughs> make sure to subscribe to my channel and also, if you want to know what I do when I don't upload, you can follow my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. It'll be all linked down below in the description box. And yeah, if you want to see my old videos, you can watch the video on my end screen. It's probably like the video from like uh, my last video. Yeah, make sure to subscribe, like this video, show this to Carly Seal so she doesn't hate me forever. Make sure to tell her to unblock me on Twitter. Her username is down below, just let me know. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys. <coughs> I did my nails also I'm gonna also link my makeup uh, my makeup uh, nail page down below it's like a beauty I'm actually gonna it was Carissa MUA but I think I'm just gonna change it to um, Carissa's beauty or something like that you should give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so you never time I upload a brand new video and um, I'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>